Hi everybody. For the past two days I've been working on uh, my limit switches for this machine that I'm building, the limit and homing switches. I've been having a lot of difficulty to actually make them work. I decided to use these inductive sensors, PMP, normally closed. You had to fit them with 12 volts or 6 to 36 volts, which my controller there, I mean the uh, power supply is 48 volts, believe it or not, on that uh, Xylotech uh, control box. So I had to install a transformer and fit the sensors so they operate. And I had to, uh, from the signal return, uh, you will have the 12 volts going into the uh, uh, breakout board to go into the parallel port on the computer. And I didn't want that because it's too high of a voltage. So I had to bring it down to 5 volts and I used a couple of resistors as a voltage divider to get it down to 5 volts. Now with all this talk you might think that I know a lot about this stuff and I really don't. I'm learning as I go as you you might notice right. So so the sensors are on all the time and when you put the metal or, or it goes to the end there and detects the metal then it cuts off right. So that was no problem. I was able to configure the sensors to be home for the for the machine to home right the problem was when i try to get the limit switches to work even if you already shake the uh, override limits on the um, settings page uh, right there on mach 3 so it just doesn't allow you to uh, reset it to back out of the the switch so i decided to set the soft limit uh, software limits instead just to use to have some sort of limit on, on the the machine but you know I installed the sensors and it, they look so nice and they don't work so I said no I, I, I gotta find the solution so uh, so what I had to do uh, for it you know the, the thing that didn't I didn't like is it went to the limit and didn't back out of it like a, a few you know a little bit of the distance since the thing that I didn't like is it didn't back out of the switches, I started thinking why. Yeah, there's a setting that you can change from Mach 3 for it to do that. So that alone is uh, the solution for this whole problem. Now once it does that, then I can program it to go to the limit. And, and if it triggers the limit switch, then you can actually uh, press the reset button a couple of times. And then it gets you let you back out of the, uh, the switch. So uh, I spent a lot of time on it and uh, I couldn't find a solution that explains uh, visually how this works. So this is exactly what I'm gonna do right now for you. Okay, first of all, to show you what the problem I had with this kind of sensor is uh, or was, uh, let me go ahead and turn on the controller. Now the controller is active. So I'm going to reference all the axis to zero and I'm going to press on reference on home so it'll come up. All right, now they're green so they're all reference home. But I want you to notice that uh, it stopped and it didn't bounce uh, or spring back or return. It didn't do that. Okay, so what I have selected right now are just the homing, let me see, force and pins, input signals. I just have the homing signals or the homing uh, function enabled on on the force and pins right here. You say uh, X home, Y home, and Z home. I do not have the limit switches from the any of the axes active. So if I do activate those uh, axes. Hang on, let me uh, back out of the switches first. So I'm going to back out of the switches. So now I want to set those uh, sensors as also as limit switches. So uh, let's go to ports and pins, input signals, and I'm going to enable all of them to serve as limit switches. So I got apply 
and I reset it so no problem so far right so now if I try to reference home the machine again and let's see what happens stop right so as soon as it uh, went to the first um, switch it triggered a limit switch uh, function right there as uh, it says limit switch triggered so now it didn't home it right why because I got selected the homing and the limit switches with this kind of switch so if I try to reset it it just doesn't reset it nothing I cannot do that so okay let me show you what I had to do to be able to to do that so first of all let me get off of that so for some pins input signals and that's the z-axis which is uh, causing the problem but right now I reset it because I eliminated the function of the limit switch on on the z-axis so now I can jack off of the switch right all right let me activate activate that switch again force and pins input signals uh, C plus now it's active again but before I do that I have to come here to configure and I have to come to general configure and right here on the input signal input signal the bouncing noise rejection uh, little window uh, the interval of the bounce for any switch that you use on the machine is um, zero so it's gonna have a positive value there so I'm gonna enter 1000 1000 uh, I think that's the interval for the debounce. If uh, you press the switch and when it releases, uh, it might trigger some uh, spike on amperage and that'll trigger a uh, false uh, trigger a any a function that you related to that switch. So I'm gonna set it up to 1000 uh, factor there and I'm gonna reset it. And what I want you to notice now, I'm gonna reference all home again and the switch when it comes and makes uh, the uh, detection then it's going to bounce back a little bit the, the bouncing back doesn't mean uh, the bouncing function it's just uh, spring springing back that's something to totally different but uh, whenever i put a thousand or more there then it, it will do that uh, uh, behavior otherwise it won't like you you saw it so let me go ahead and reference all home again now it, it did bounce it and now it's doing all three axes so that solves that problem now let me uh, get off of the switch there and all the axes and, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna trigger uh, you know like I don't have any self limits right there so I'm going to trigger uh, the uh, the limit switch by running into it so it's gonna suddenly stop the machine there and see what happens there it doesn't let me hit the uh, uh, the machine itself right so right now it stopped it before it hit the, the metal right here so is uh it says limit switch is being triggered so now let me see if i can reset it it does it, it it's a period of time that the switch is off and you have to kind of like wait um or, or get your hand on the jogging button right here so i can jog off of the thing see it gives you a, a moment to be able to back off of the switch but it didn't do that when I didn't have that interval on the 1000 on the bouncing window, right? On general configure. So that's the solution to that problem. Now if I go to the top one here, same thing. So now I have to reset it, but I have to like quickly, while it's flashing, uh, get off of the switch. And that's how it, it would work. 
So let me go ahead and set this one off. There you go. So, same thing. See, you have to kind of do it in between the flashes, and then it'll back off of the of the uh, the switch. So that's how I solved that problem. Uh, so I searched a lot of videos on YouTube trying to find a solution to the problem. I just couldn't find one. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and make this video. Maybe it'll be helpful to someone that doesn't um, know how uh, to activate both the homing and limit switches on uh, this kind of uh, inductive or capacitive or optical or mechanical switches. All right, if you find this video helpful, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If uh, you like this kind of stuff that I do in this channel, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell because otherwise it won't be shown to you. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.